truly believe that everybody has the same capability on here. Just real briefly, my early story on here is basically my entire adult life. Uh, I've been a, a binge eater, at least 100 pounds overweight, if not more at some point, at some times. And for the last 15 years, a raging alcoholic, literally drinking almost 24 seven, get up in the middle of the night and drink. And of course that affects your ability to be a productive person in society. And um, I turned that around. And then we're gonna talk about some of those steps here. So I obviously turned around physically and was able to get my wife and my kids back into my life. They had ended up leaving for good reason. Uh, and here is a 10 year wedding anniversary. We actually got remarried in Korea to celebrate it. And so it was great because our kids got to see it as well. And my story has been featured in the best selling book by Bill Phillips, Transformation. Now, Really, I just have one goal here today for everybody on the, on the phone call. It's just one small goal. And that is we're all headed on a destination. Did you know that psychologists can predict with almost a 90% accuracy that by the time you're 18 years old, they can predict how long you're going to live, how much income you're going to make, and the quality of your life to a 90% accuracy. And that's because we're shaped by a current belief systems and our operating systems of what's possible and what's not. And every day we keep pressing the repeat button for the rest of our lives. And we keep having the same frustrations and living the same life over and over again. And what I want to do tonight, my goal here, this afternoon, wherever you may be, is to take your coordinate systems, because we all have a destination, and just take your destination, and if somehow by the end of this phone call, I just bump your coordinates off by a half a degree, you may not feel like you've changed, but over time, it will change ultimately your destination and where you're all headed on the phone call today. It's similar to a direct flight going from Orlando, Florida, across the United States to San Diego. If when taking off in Orlando, the co-pilot is off just by five degrees, they don't notice when they take off from the airport. They still fly over the, the Mississippi River. They still fly over the Rocky Mountains, but they don't end up in San Diego. Instead, they end up in a completely different destination, Vancouver, Canada, in a different country. So my hope is that by the end of this phone call, that in 3,000 miles and three months later, you end up in a completely different destination. Okay. Is the sound quality okay now? Are we, are we looking good there? Everything's good before we really start getting into this? Done. Are we good? Let me make sure to check the chat box here. John, are you there? And yep, we're good. Yeah, I got a box full of yeses, man. I'm just, I'm not the best oh, okay. with the mute button today. Oh, okay, cool. Got it. Just want to make sure. All right, cool. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, um, when I got my start in, in, in internet marketing, I had gone through the transformation process. As many of you know, um, I I won the transformation contest in 2009 and really turned my life around. Uh, I was able to take control of my demons. I did a lot of inner work um, and I changed myself physically and spiritually and that's an ongoing process. And I, I brought my family, my wife, my kids back into my life and, and we were in the rebuilding phase. The problem was that I was completely and totally broke. I had no real income, so to speak. And uh, a couple of years ago, about two and a half years ago, I came across Main Street Marketing Machines by Mike Teenies. And it's, it's an offline course, right? And uh, I knew nothing about offline marketing, but I got sucked into his presentation. It's one of these big launches where they got the three videos and then the live uh, video cast at the end. And uh, I got sucked into it. I thought, what a wonderful opportunity. I mean, right? It's offline business. They they need an online presence and there's a huge opportunity. I saw it, I wanted it in, I knew nothing about internet marketing. But the problem was that by the time the cart closed, the cart, or the time the cart opened, it was 2,000 bucks. I didn't have 2,000 bucks, so I was really depressed. But a couple days later, they emailed back out and uh, Mike said, I've got a payment plan for the last day and I had just enough on my credit card to pay for the first installment and I dove right into that program. And part of the program, was that uh, three weeks after I purchased it, there was a live event in San Diego and I was in Phoenix at the time. The problem was is that I wanted to get to that event, but I didn't have the cash. 
for the resources to get there. I literally had $14 on me. So I had to use that $14 and the resources that I had to get my body down to San Diego because I wanted to attend this live event. And I had to cover gas, room and board, and everything. So I used this car right here. This is a 30 year old uh, ladies that I converted over into diesel. Or I converted from diesel to uh, vegetable oil. And so I loaded up with vegetable oil that I got free from, from a restaurant down the street. I loaded up the trunk and I was off and running. And I had my transportation all taken care of. I had enough vegetable oil to get me there and back. And my room and board was, of course, the back seat. That's where I was going to be sleeping down there. And that event, uh, that along with the course and taking massive action, really changed my life completely. And I used some of the same exact principles that I used during the transformation process. So physically and spiritually changed my life. I use the exact same principles in my business to completely change it as well. A lot of people ask if I upgraded my cars and stuff. And yes, of course I have. We've upgraded a lot of things. Now, a lot of things changed at that point. Um, I was asked to speak at a lot of events and, I, and the most events that I speak at are, are non-internet market events. These are usually uh, transformational events. People who want to make changes more of those type of events on here. I've spoken at a little over 50 to date. And this year I just started speaking at um, internet marketing events. Um, and I've had the good fortune to, to share the stage with people like Paula Abdul, who's also a recovering addict uh, herself. And she has an incredible story as well. Um, became good friends with Bill Phillips. Um, and uh, I got to share the studio with this gentleman here. If you've ever watched The Secret, you recognize him. And I finally got to be invited and meet my one of my mentors, Mike Keynes, who really got me started in offline marketing. And uh, so that was a great honor to do that. But one day, uh, not too long ago, I got a phone call from uh, a friend of mine, and he said, hey, uh, Dan Kennedy wants to interview and meet you and spend a day and a half with you. Um, and I was like, I don't have the time, I'm not interested. I didn't know who the heck Dan Kennedy was. Um, and uh, as it turns out, he had heard about uh, how I had taken my offline business in 2011. I started my offline business um, and, and I was on target to make like, a few thousand dollars per month. And I had never in my adult life ever made more than I think about $60,000 maximum. And I was on target to probably make about $100,000. So things were looking really, really good, but something shifted and something shifted in my business that I'm gonna share with you. And it allowed me to take my business from making well, about $100,000 in the beginning of 2011. To, by the time I ended 2011, my company had made $1.6 million. And that's why Dan Kennedy wanted to interview me. So how did I go from a few thousand dollars in early 2011 to ending that year in seven figures with my offline business? How many people here on the call want to know how I did that? Let me just see in the chat box here. How many people would like to know that? And more importantly, how many people would like to learn those same strategies themselves? Well, we've got about six or 700 people on the call. and it's I'm keep scrolling <laughs> the box full of yeses. So, okay, yeah. good. I think awesome. they want to hear. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go ahead and, and, and get into it here, okay? Because um, it's uh, it, it's something anybody can do, okay? But I'm going to go over some some initial stages here because these things are really really important, okay? So one of the things that I learned along my transformation pro process is the whole idea of living an idea of progress, not perfection on here. And if any of you are from AA, you know, and you've heard this every single day, but those of you who haven't, this is an awesome thing to incorporate in your daily life on here. Progress, not perfection. Now, what does that mean on here? Well, really what this is meaning on here is that, is that you're taking your, your life, your everyday life of, of what you're doing. And what, is, what happened was that for too many people, and including myself on here, I just would simply give up on myself and others will give up on them because they, they can't see. So I couldn't see how well I was actually doing in my life. And, and, we're, and we all do this. And an example that's gonna come up with this 
coming up with the new year is that a lot of people are going to have New Year's resolutions. And for a lot of us, those are going to be probably going to want to lose a few pounds, a couple inches around the waist. But what happens, and I'm guilty of this all the time, but you got to become aware of it, is that people will start off and they'll have a great, you know, they'll, they'll eat a good breakfast, a good lunch, they'll make it to the gym. As they get towards the end of the first week of the new year, their New Year's resolutions, they get to the end of the week on a Friday, and they'll start off the morning great like they have, maybe a shake, you get some good, uh, a good clean meal. By the time they get to lunch, though, and they had brought a nice, good, clean lunch with them, but somebody at work maybe brought pizza. So they broke down and they had pizza. And then it was Friday and the boss had some deadlines, so they had to work late, so they ended up being out and they ended up missing their workout as well. And what happens is that a lot of us, including myself, we end up noticing and just focusing on measuring what hasn't happened rather than what has happened. And that's a really important key point is that, is, that, is that on that day, we should have been focusing on what had happened, the good things. And the good thing was that you had a good breakfast uh, and then the rest of the day you may have screwed up, but that's okay. But what happens is that every day we, we each have this balance sheet of things that we didn't accomplish and things that we did. And I was guilty for 41 years of my life of constantly focusing on the things that I hadn't done correctly that day. What, that ha what happens when you do that is that it makes it impossible for you to feel good about yourself on here. And you get into this mindset of perfectionism or trying to be perfect on this end of it. And what happens on here is that, is that you never can feel completely good about yourself, smart enough, healthy enough, successful enough, beautiful enough, or whatever it is on here. But fortunately, there's a solution to this. I really want you to listen in on this. This is a very key takeaway. This is one of those things that can bump you that little five degrees and you can end up in a completely different destination on here. Is that you can create a game winning game plan on here. And this is how it's happened on here. Is that we we want to end up surrendering your pursuit of perfection. Instead, focus on the progress, the daily focus on the progress. You see. The end result is not the goal, okay? The end result is not the goal. It's, it's not I'm going to lose 25 pounds, and when I lose 25 pounds, I'm going to hold up all my happiness until I get there. No, your happiness, and in order to get you to that end result, you've got to fall in love with your daily progress, no matter the size of it, no matter how small it is. You've got to fall in love and become passionate about the, the process, not the end result or the perfection on the end of it. So let's move on here. It's got a couple of these and we'll dive right in to the Pacific Center. But these are big things on here. And one of them is, uh, and, and we've all got these, is the big forgive. What is a big forgive on here? Everybody's got them and, and there's all types of situations for them and they come in all different sizes. We hold on to these uh, resentments uh, and uh, they can come in the, in the form of maybe you have a bad divorce, uh, maybe you had a bad deal with a business partner, family disagreements, those always come up with siblings and relatives. There's all kinds of situations that can cause you to hold resentments on here. And these resentments hold you back. No matter how small they may be, they actually hold you back. It's like driving a car with your emergency brake on all the time. It's just, you're just going to wear out and it takes too much energy to get to, to where you want to go and everything just seems to drag you down. There's a great saying about resentment that I love and it goes like this, resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for your enemy to die. And I just love that saying, I know I would, because <laughs> it's, it, it's so true on that. Uh, you know, if you're driving somewhere and somebody cuts you off, you get all pissed off and what the hell are they doing cutting me off? You now are holding resentment. And you may hold that resentment for the next two or three or four hours, but that person who just cut you off drove off with your empowerment. They drove off with your potential right there, okay? Or it could be a business partner, a divorce, whatever, and they can drive off with your potential, your creativity, your full potential of who you're supposed to be, your transformation, your higher version of yourself. They can be, you can hand it over to them, and they don't even care, probably remember what happened. So the big forgive, we've all got them, little and small. Forgive, 
the highest form of love, by the way, for yourself and others is forgiveness. My wife taught me that. Accepting full responsibility, Gary. This is a huge one on here, on that. Uh, I was an expert, 41 years of my adult life, I was an expert at not accepting responsibility. That's what alcoholism is all about. It's about avoiding and not taking responsibility. I was an expert at victimhood. It was always something outside of myself that was that was the cause of where I was in my life. And I was very, very unhappy. I blame others. And we all get caught into this, you know. If you had a job and you, and you, you don't get promoted to the position that you want, maybe you blame someone else for that. Uh, when ultimately you have the full responsibility on this end of it. It's really, really important to take full responsibility for this and stop blaming others. And when you do that, when you really, when you really let go of that, uh, you literally, uh, you're, you're literally giving away your power to change as a person when you don't accept responsibility. When you accept responsibility for everything around your life. And you know, look, bad things happen to bad people all the time. But you and I are all responsible for how we react to that and what goes on thereafter. A couple of years ago, when I was driving around my 30-year-old diesel car, uh, I wasn't living in the best neighborhood. And uh, instead of parking in the garage, I parked out on the street. And uh, my old beat-up car, but it, it got me around, got broken into, and I got some valuables stolen out of it. Uh, and when that happened, I was immediately angry, upset, and I held a lot of resentment for it. I didn't even know the person who did it. I was just upset with it. But over time, I learned in situations like that to take full responsibility of it. Now, I'm not, it's not right or wrong what that person did, but I got to take responsibility of my reaction to, to, to that situation. And my reaction is, is that I shouldn't have parked there. I should have parked in the garage. I was too lazy that night. And it was known in the neighborhood that cars do get broken into. So I encourage you to do that. I also took, was taking full responsibility for my offline business. My offline business was in the beginning doing very well. By all standards, I was very, very happy. And I was getting referrals. And uh, I got a referral one day that shifted the focus of my business and put it on a completely different path. It was that five degree bump, okay, that I, it ended up in a different destination. And uh, I got a warm referral, which is always great. So I called up, and the person was expecting me, and I was like, hey, you know, John said you're going to call today. That's fantastic. And he's really happy with the service you've been doing and stuff. And I had done my research, and I knew exactly, you know, what the client needed based on uh, what his friend said and after I'd done the initial interview. And, uh, you know, the guy was really friendly and receptive. It wasn't like a sales call at, at all. And when we were done with the sales call, and I had kind of laid out, you know, kind of phase one, and uh, of, of, of what we needed to do, which is basically we're going to take a site and there's a couple of keywords that we needed to rank for, which he wasn't. Um, and it wasn't that difficult to do. Um, and I laid it out for him. He said, Chris, you know, that sounds great. And, uh, you know, my good friend highly recommends you. Uh, and that's why I had this phone call here. But I've got someone else who's offering the exact same thing you are, but at a fraction of the cost. And he happens to drive a rickshaw part time. It's a true story. And so I realized at that moment, and I was already feeling the competition and the heat out there. I was already feeling it in the marketplace. And if some of you are out in the marketplace right now, you feel it as well. What's happening in the marketplace is taking a shift, and it happens in every single industry in every marketplace, is that there comes a point to where you'll become a commodity. And that is, you're all offering the same service. I'm offering the same service as someone who drives a rickshaw part-time and does SEO part-time. We offer the exact same service, but they, they're willing to do it at a fraction of the cost. And that's when I knew things had to change. Plus, I was getting so tired and working long hours. So I switched over, and this didn't happen overnight. But I moved over into the paper call, and I really believe uh, – for many reasons, maybe because I'm living it right now, but uh, that the paper call is the future. It's, it is the future, especially for offline businesses on here. Now, paper call is the most effective pay for performance based advertising ever created, especially the way my company does it. When we compare paper call to pay per click, because that's the idea, I just, I just modeled my paper call business after Google's pay per click. 
pay-per-click on average, again, depends on keywords and investors and whatnot, but on average, they usually get about a one to 3% closing rate. So you're gonna get about 100 people to click on your ad, maybe one to 3% will actually convert over into customers. Whereas when you deliver a pay-per-call live customer, you get about a 40 to 70% conversion rate. And that's huge, okay? You can also deal with higher price items because you're dealing with the customer live instead of on, a, on, on the computer screen. And the paper call is worth, depending on the industry we're discovering uh, and we're able to charge four to 10 times what you can for a pay-per-click engine, okay? And there's a lot of other benefits to the pay-per-call business model. We're gonna get into some more details here. So I know those questions are probably coming up and we're gonna get to those, I promise. But just hear me out here. These are discussions my company and myself never, ever, ever have with our clients. We never talk about web design, never. And those of you who, who, have, who either are currently doing or have done web design, whether you do it yourself or you outsource, you know what a service intensive process that can be. Sometimes it can take months, months to get a site completed because the business owner can't make up their mind or they're too busy or they wanna change this, they wanna change that. It's, it, it's very hard to scale that model, at least the way that I ran. Google Places, we never talk about Google Places. We never worry about Google Places. We could care less what the latest changes are with Google Places. Keywords, we don't talk about them with clients. They don't care about them, we don't care about them. Page one ranking, let everyone else fight about that. Hey, we promised you page one. We don't even talk about it. You're already on page one? Congratulations. You guys did a good job. It's not what we're about. We don't talk about any of this kind of stuff with our clients. The only thing that we've narrowed our business down is giving and delivering one thing and one thing only on a pay for performance level like no one else is doing. And that is a live customer calling your business. There's nothing else to talk about but, the, but how much we're going to charge for that. And, we, and the way that we run our business on that is that we completely reverse out all risk to the client the easiest sale in the world. But before we get into the details of that, I want to point out why this is such a powerful, powerful strategy in today's economy. This is actually a book cover. I highly recommend this book called Blue Ocean Strategies. And the concept behind it is that basically every business, almost every business, runs through a cycle where it's new and brand new. And then as more and more people get into it, it your business turns into a commodity. And that commodity phase can last for years. And that's a red ocean strategy. And really what happens is everybody is offering the same product or the same service, and they're all offering. And so the only way that they can separate themselves from the pack is by offering a lower price, just like I was with the rickshaw driver. I couldn't compete against the guy. The guy was willing to work for far less and do exactly the same job as me. Now, are they taking over the online internet world? No, there's still room for others because we're still in that cycle. We're still in that, it's starting to be commoditized. And uh, it's, 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 it's a sea filled with sharks. And that's why it's a red ocean strategy. And a blue ocean strategy, it's clear blue ocean waters where there's no sharks, there's no price gouging, none of that is taking place. It is creating a business model where you have uncontested market space and your competition does not matter at that point. Let me give you some live examples here. Use all stuff you can look online and all that kind of stuff. By the way, um, I share almost 80% of all of my niches and all of my life cycles. So it's just an abundance mindset that I have. So th this is, these are two sites, uh, both on page one, a video and a, uh, and a, a website that through the paper call model generate my business about $20,000 a year. Now, we don't manage the client. I haven't spoken with the client and my staff hasn't spoken with the client in over a year. It's just a nice paper call model. They end up getting a bill electronically in their, in their email, it's all nicely sent to them, we don't send it, we don't count it out, it's all automated through our software, they just press the pay button and we receive the money. And this happens week after week after week. We don't get any phone calls about, hey, 
our sites drop down to page two. We're not getting enough traffic, blah, 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 because that's not the business we're in, okay? Actually, my client has, they've got a page, they've already got their own page uh, on, on page one of their own website in Google Places, but you know what? That guy or gal, whoever's managed it, they're the one fielding all the phone calls. But that's not what we're about. And that, and, and that enables you to give you the freedom to focus on what? Focus on growing and expanding your business from anywhere in the world. I want you to know that this is a really important concept, and I have to, I find myself repeating this, and that's okay because uh, everybody needs a coach, and everybody needs to be repeated of things at times. Just a reminder, it goes back and forth. But to run an offline business successfully does not mean that you need to be face to face with the client. I have not met face to face or spoken with the client over the phone in over a year. Okay, and I've and some of you have followed me around. Some of you know, you know that you know myself, my family, we travel. Last four, four, we spent four months in Korea. We're going to be going back. We're going to be traveling around the world. And I run this business doing that. And that really, for me, brought back how wonderful the initial idea of getting into the internet world was. I was initially attracted by A, the huge opportunity that's in the offline world, but B, like a lot of other people, the fact that I don't have to drive in my car. I don't have to meet with clients. I don't have to deal with any of that stuff. I can work from behind my computer anywhere in the world. That's pretty hard to do, although I know, I know people who do it successfully. They just built up a good team and a better manager than I am. Have just built up a successful offline business. They just have got project managers that, that, that deal with the customers. There's certainly that way too. Let's take a look at some other examples on here. This is something here that um, I teamed up with a uh, he's, he is seriously one of the world experts at Craigslist posting, and uh, he's developed a system, and I bought, I bought into it, and I partnered up into it, where we can literally post as many Craigslist ads as we want. There is nothing, and I mean nothing out there in the world like this right now, um, and we can go into service sections, and this is an example here. Uh, this is a screenshot of the phone calls behind. Uh, it's over a like a, a two-week period on here. No, it's actually a one-month period. And these are simple text ads and service. I'm going to give you some examples in a second. These are simple. Uh, these are automated. They're posted up. They're just text ads with a phone number, and it's our and it's our uh, software tracking phone number. And it's uh, it's posting these Craigslist ads. And we're actually these on here. We're actually selling this example here. We're selling to uh, mobile mechanics. So these are for mobile mechanics. And uh, we charge $23 per qualified call. We'll get into what a qualified call here is in just a second. But just that going automated in, in one month, and this is the first month of it posting in this particular city, brought us in $460. Okay, so this gets really, really powerful. There's other areas too that we also put the uh, pay per call model on. And you can go out and see these, these are all out there in the real world right now. Um, this is not even our own site. Uh, this is a, a Yelp listing, um, and it's still ranking above because we just tossed a couple of backlinks at it. And uh, these numbers here were gathered over a six-month period. So over a six-month period, not even our own ad or anything, and these are so easy to rank. Uh, we generated over $5,000, and this is obviously for a towing company on here. So. Let me just go over a couple of things here. I know the questions are piling up. We're going to get into those in just a second. So uh, the paper call model and what I do on here. The customer is it's such an easy sale because the customer is only paying for the qualified leads. And what's a qualified lead? A qualified lead is something that we determine with the customer and, and, and we determine how long it takes them to determine whether that person who called is going to be doing business with them or not. For example, our, our mobile mechanic sites and our niches that we're in, we set that at three minutes. So what happens is that is that we know by dealing hundreds and dealing with hundreds of mobile mechanics all over the country, is that it takes them approximately three minutes to determine whether that person who calls is going to be qualified. Because the phone conversation is real simple. The first is, where are you located? Okay, is it in an area I can do? Okay, what kind of vehicle do you have? Okay, I work on those. 
what's the problem? Okay, so it'll be this much to come out and take a look at it. And, and if the other people say, you know, it's too far or whatever, three minutes is up, they don't pay for that call. Okay, and the software system that I've had developed for my own business is we can adjust that. You can adjust that. We can adjust that to five minutes, three and a half minutes, whatever. Okay, it's really important. Um, anything over three minutes, they're going to get charged for. And, uh, and, and they're going to get a full receipt. I'm going to show you an actual one on here. Now, the way that I run my business is that the, the software system is set up. So we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these phone numbers out there is that it, it bills automatically. I'd, I'd have to have a team of, of 30 people just trying to do this manually. So uh, we, we built a system that's auto, it's automated and it integrates uh, with one click with your business PayPal account, but your business PayPal account is free. Uh, and, it, and it automates these bills and it sends them out to the customer Sunday night, every Sunday night on that. And we offer a seven day rolling unconditional money back guarantee. So at the end of any seven days, when they receive a bill by email that got the pay button right on it, got the numbers that came in, the time, the length of call, the cost, everything on it. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. The customer comes back and says, you know what? It's just not working out for us. We want to cancel. We say, fine, don't even pay the bill. Don't worry about it. That's our guarantee. That's our risk-free offer. We reverse out all risks. The customers have nothing to lose and everything to gain on here. And normally what happens is if we're in a new niche, it just means that we priced it wrong. You see, the way it's got to work in, in essence, and I go into great detail on this later, um, is it basically, the customers have got to hand me five bucks, and I got to hand them back ten dollars. And as long as that relationship goes on every week, that relationship is going to continue. The moment that I start, you know, charging too much, or maybe that maybe I set the minutes in the beginning for too short, then they start handing me ten bucks every week, and I hand them back five, and that relationship is not going to work. So that's it in a in a, a nutshell. There's no contracts. It's just pure paid for performance. People love it. Customers love it. It's simple. It's easy. They're busy. They got nothing to worry about. There's no long conversations about, you know, why they got to do SEO and all this kind of crap. None of that. It's just simple, clean. It provides freedom for you and your customer. Here's what a bill looks like on here. Um, and this is just a sample bill. Um, if, uh, and you just need a simple, just basic business account. If you got a regular one, you can upgrade free of charge to do it uh, and it's just a one-click integration and it's automatically set to forget at that point and this is what they receive by email and you receive a copy as well in your email box too it's got the pay button right here that's the important part uh, it's got the status pending pay or pay not now so you can look in your PayPal account and see what it is it's got the qualified calls the price done really easy to do on here now for some of you who have not heard my presentation before, and have not heard my story, I want to introduce you to one of my more successful students. But he's very unique in the fact that this person is young. And Donald, if you could help me out here, can anybody guess how old my youngest student is who makes almost as much as his teachers? What's the age we got on here? The 15, the 14? I'm gonna let them roll 23. through just for a second. Oh, we've got lots of them. All right, we've got yeah, 16, 17, 17. Nope. We're getting mainly 16 and 7. Pretty, someone saying 7, 9, 13, Ooh. 14, 11, close. 20. Close. So the 11 so close. It's actually. Uh, go ahead. Did anybody hit it? Well, uh, we got somebody that said 10. There we go, right there. 10 years old. Yep. And that's a 10 year old right there. That happens to be my son, by the way. And. Um, so my son, you're probably thinking right away, well, he's got all these big advantages because his dad owns the company. Well, rightly so, he does, but he's 10 years old too. So let's give him a little bit of credit on here. So basically, my son here makes a little over $2,000 per month every single month running his own little paper call business. Now, I got to add a little ca caveat here. That created unforeseen problems as parents that we never looked ahead we didn't have the foresight to do and if you have kids i suggest that you do not do this okay um you don't know what it's like to have a kid that's that's 10 years old and is making that kind of money uh 
we were forced to, and that's a whole other discussion, but we were, they forced us to be better with our money and, I mean, as parents too, and we had to turn it into a teaching lesson and we got into Dave Ramsey and his whole philosophy of money and, uh, and giving money away at a certain percentage of it and saving and all this kind of stuff. So it's turned out to be a good thing, but it's been a rocky road. Anyways, but my point with sharing this with you is that if a 10 year old can do this, anybody can do this. Now, you might be thinking to yourself at this point, yeah, well, you know, dad just showed you that this point of the way. Yeah, exactly like I'm gonna do with you. I help them just like I'm gonna help each and every one of you on how to properly pick your niches on you, okay? So that's part of it. You, you, you wanna pick a, 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 a good niche. The second thing is, if he's 10 years old, I don't expect him to be building a site and doing any SEO, no problem. Um, I just had him, he, he just ordered his, his niche and his sites from my team. Now, you guys and gals on the phone call, I show you step by step of exactly, I take you through so many live case studies. One of the case studies is, that I do, and it's recent, you can go out and look at it all you want online, is that um, I took exact match domains that I just purchased. I mean, this is like a month ago. Um, and within seven to 12 days, we had over 50 of those sites ranking on page one without any backlinks, okay? Now, a lot of people think, oh, and it's all completely, and anyone who's maybe, there might be students on here of mine, you know it's 100% white hat, and they stick. Okay, so this is something anybody can do uh, on this end of it. Okay, it, you, you may not have the luxury to just order from an outsourcer, but I'll show you how to do it so you could order it from an outsourcer on here. Because that's really what it is. It's about building, building and scaling this thing up because you don't have anybody slowing you down, right? You don't have customers slowing you down. My whole business model was how do I get rid of the customers? It's because they're just slowing me down. I realized very quickly early on working so many long hours that and dealing with the customers and handling and so on and so forth. And granted, I probably didn't do the best job at it, okay, managing that. But when I was able to remove that, that's when I was able to free myself and expand my business out. I never needed to be a client. Obviously, a 10 year old doesn't have a client, okay? It doesn't happen that way. All right, so I'm going to show you some kind of cool things that we do here. Um, one of them, this is just one of the ways that we do it, but, but getting leads and customers is, is no longer an issue. But here's one thing that we do. This is, uh, we've got this built into the software system where uh, what, as we're building the site up, you know, it, maybe we'll start out and we'll appear on page four and then work its way up to three, four, five, and up to page one, it'll start to get some phone calls. And, and if we don't have a client yet for that particular niche in that particular city, we just forward that phone call to a, to a business that we would like to do business with. A business that's already preferably on page one, is already spending money with this and already gets this, okay? And would, and, and would love and appreciate this kind of business model. We're not looking for somebody who hasn't invested in a website and barely has enough to invest in this business. We want somebody who's already on the page one. That's who we want. Uh, and we'll just forward the calls there. Now what happens is that when live customers call, we don't just want to send them to a voicemail box. We don't want to waste that opportunity. We will instead, we've got this integrated in the software system. We just, we just type in the, a little message that we want our, our client, that we, our, our prospect that we'd like to do business with. And it can go something like this. It can go in the call, let, let, let's say we're going for plumbers or something. I'm not in that niche, but if you go for plumbers or something, you've built a site, you start getting some phone calls in. You find a plumber that you want to deal with, and you put in there, you just type into our software system. Uh, this, is, this is a, when the phone rings, it'll first before the call connects, and the, uh, it'll say, this is a free lead from chrislinersfreeleads.com. If you'd like to receive more, please visit our website. Boop, it switches over, live call, live customer on you. Hi, my name is so-and-so. We've got, you know, we're looking to remodel our kitchen. We need a live plumber, blah, blah, blah. They get a couple of those phone calls. More than likely, what do you think they're going to do? They're probably going to go to the website, and they're going to. And by the way, that was not a real website, so don't type it in. Uh, and they're going to go to a to a landing page. And I happen to have myself on the landing page. You don't have to. Uh, we show you different ways to do it using uh, various ways. So, see, a lot of people aren't comfortable doing the face and stuff like that. And that's perfectly fine. Uh, but it's just a quick landing page. Hey, thanks for, for, for stopping by. If you'd like to continue to receive these live calls, please 
fill out the information below. And it's just a very simple uh, WordPress plugin, free. You just fill in your name, address, comment, phone number. And then we've been adding this little thing at the bottom of it recently, which is if, if this is urgent, then please text here. How cool is that? What happens when you receive a text at that point? Or your salespeople receive a text? Is that a hot lead or what? That's a hot one. Okay. So let's go over here and take a look at some things here and we'll get into some questions. Um, I want to show you on here, just like this is like with our propriety software system, this is one of the methods that we use to, to do leads. And this is a really powerful one here. Uh, this is uh, Craigslist Los Angeles here. And if we go down here and uh, we go into like legal, for example. I can go into legal section, and what I'm going to find in here uh, is we've got personal injury attorney, uh, Beverly Hills, we've got stop your eviction, uh, we've got 500 patents on here, we've got bankruptcy, you can see a lot of bankruptcy type stuff. So how easy it is to put up just a quick text, you, what, what we do in training is you just come in here and you're going to look for what's the best, just kind of model what what other bankruptcy attorneys are doing in here, okay? And then you just do a very similar thing. You, you, you look at what a nice, good, catchy heading would be, and then you just start posting, and you put your phone number down there, and then you forward those phone calls to a bankruptcy attorney. That's one. There's, there's, some, there's a beginning ways, real estate agents on here. Um, automotive is always a good section. So um, just I'm let me stop you real quick here, Chris. Sure. Chris, you there? Let me hang you real quick. Uh, just everybody on the call, uh, just this method alone, this is just one thing that Chris teaches. Do you think you could do that? Just go out there, see what's working on Craigslist ad, pretty much copy it over, paste it, and then send the lead to somebody else and get paid for it. Does any of that, does it sound simple enough that you could go do that? Okay, I'm getting a bunch of yeses. It's, it's not that difficult, guys. Go ahead, carry on, bud. Yeah, but this is like, look, there's towing services here, emergency mobile mechanic. Okay, you'll find these all over the countries on this. So, look, mobile, uh, mobile mechanics, cars, trucks. Okay, so there's a lot. You can do this in all kinds of things. Um, it's kind of a sidetrack on here, but uh, you can also use the same thing like in, in lessons. Uh, and in lessons on here, you're going to get uh, guitar lessons, piano lessons. Guess what? There's a whole lot of quick, quick bank products that are those. Okay, if that's something that I, I, I digress. I want to take you inside here just for a second uh, because this has not been, uh, this has only opened up one other time. And I think it was for six hours and that's it. And I, and I shut it down. It was only for my list. It's never been done live before. And I just want to share with you some of the comments. It's 155 comments on here so far. Chris, I just want to say thank you for offering this amazing opportunity to us all. I have been so anxious about the Reese's offer, and now it's finally here. I can't wait to get on my road to the first 1.6 million on here. Thank you for saving me three hours. I, I failed to get up three hours early um, when, I, when I did this. Thanks for this. This is awesome. I can't wait to go through the course. Wow. Uh, you flipped the lid instead of uh, being a lead hungry, lead to buying business. Uh, we can all be in the lead selling business. What a blockbuster opportunity. Thank you so much. Let's do this. It just goes on and on and on and on. So we have a lot of happy current clients on here. Um, I want to kind of walk through some of the things that you're going to get on, on here if you decide to move forward with this. Now, I want to warn you, though, um, I, I open and close this for six hours only last time. Um, and this time is opening up. It's only for the second time ever. There's only going to be 200 seats. That's it. We're done. This call is packed. I'm not. I'm, I'm not kidding when I'm, when I'm saying it's packed. I've not been on a webinar like this before. Um, anyways, Don was able to fill this up like Frank Kern. And it was amazing. But anyways, um, so this is what what we've done. Here. <laughs> this th this system works on my software system is is virtual. So you just log into it. So it works from anywhere. PC, Mac. Um, touchpad, whatever you want to do. Um, all the phone numbers in our system is for U.S. base, okay? Now, some people, that kind of freaks them out for a minute. Like, well, wait a minute, I'm in Canada. Or wait a minute, I'm in the U.K. Or wait a minute, I'm, you know, in Australia. Don't worry about it, okay? U.S. is one of the biggest consuming markets out there, and 
this is going, if, if it makes you feel uncomfortable with that, it's time to step outside your comfort zone and it's going to force you to do exactly what you want to do. And, and that is what? You want to create a scalable business that you can grow and you can, in my opinion, and from my own personal experience, you can only do that if you can't with clients. You've got to get behind the computer screen and offer them a simple direct service, which is pay per call, period, move on. Okay, so that is a plus, not a minus. Get full tracking reports, all the call, phone calls on here, the time, time, the call that came in, the time that came in, that you and the, and the customer get this, um, and it's detailed and organized for them, as I showed you on the bill earlier on here. Uh, it is truly hands-free, automated group for billing. You, you do nothing. Once you enter in a customer's information one time, that's it. That's it. You're done. And every every phone number, every client you ever get after that is already automated, and it gets it's it's uh, gets set up with your PayPal account. By the way, if you don't have a PayPal account, don't worry. You'll still receive the invoice, uh, and the customer will still receive it. You'll just have to bill them in, in some other manner, but I would recommend that you do it through a PayPal. Um, lead quality score on your technology. This is something on here that uh, we were longing hard to do, and that is it's completely cu customizable. And it, it all depends on the niche. And some people always say, well, how long does it take, you know, how long should I wait before it becomes a billable? A minute, two, five, or four minutes? Well, it all depends on the niche. But as I teach in the course, this is not about just putting all your eggs in one basket in one niche in one city. What I teach and what I encourage you, and I show by example, I just pull back the curtains and show everything, is just spread this thing out as fast as you can. It's all about leveraging this incredible technology that we have that's the internet and just getting out to as many places as you possibly can and as easily and as quickly as you can. And once you start to get to know a niche, it doesn't take very long. Two or three customers and you've got it nailed in, trust me. You've got it nailed in about what you're going to be charging, what's going to be the right way to do it. And of course, I show you um, the process about going about how, to, how you do that. But once you've got a couple of customers and you've tested it out, you're going to know, hey, you know, this guy's asking for five minutes, and I know from my other customers, they only need about three and a half minutes. It's three and a half minutes, buddy. That's it. All these phone calls go to your competition. I, I, and they say, well, that's too much for late. Nope. I do it in other businesses. They're very profitable. That's what the cost is. So anyways, that's how that goes on that. Um, you have the ability to, to if they've been a long-time customer, you may want to give them a couple of extra free leads, and you can enter that in, a couple of free calls, qualify calls per, per week from that, something like that, just to reward your customers. It's optional. It's all flexible in that. Membership training area on here. I go over, I, I just pull back the curtains, man. I go over everything about how I run my business. And like I said, I share you know, at least 80% of my niche is just live. You, just, you can watch other women. Uh, because I just live in an abundance mindset, okay? Um, and I'm just, I'm just not, I, I just don't operate out of scarcity. Uh, the Craigslist domination. Now, this thing on here, this is, if, if there's any kind of Craigslisters out there, when you get into this, you're going to appreciate it because I, I, I guarantee you, um, without a doubt, I know there's no one else in the world that's doing it like this. And we're going to hand this over to you. Now, I have to caution you with this because it is, uh, frankly, it leaves room for abuse um, and we don't want just people walking away with it because we're literally going to hand over the keys to you on this end of it. So there's, so uh, it's not the absolute, uh, you don't need it right out of the gate to be 100% successful. I show you step by step on how to get this in a fast track. It's how I've laid the course out. I said, how can I make sure that people are successful as fast as possible? And it's not the Craigslist method, by the way. So to get the Craigslist domination, there's two requirements of all members current and new. You have to be in good standing for 30 days or longer. And the second thing is, is there's a, uh, a, a NDA form that you've got to sign, date, fill out your information, and get back to our support team, and then we hand over the keys to you, okay? It's fair enough. This technology on here, just to build it, cost me personally over $40,000. I just don't want it out in the black market. Video Ranking Ninja on here. Uh, just put up a, a case study on here. Now, some of you are, are already members of uh, a free course I offer. And just because it's free doesn't mean there's a ton of value in it. But that's the two uh, Jedi. Uh, many people, not myself, other people have told me this. It's one of the most uh, useful, cutting-edge courses they've ever seen on how to make video. Now, in order to stay cutting-edge, what do we have to do? 
We have to constantly be experimenting. We can't just regurgitate what everyone else is telling and doing. Someone's got to be out there paving a new path. I've got a module in there. It's module eight. It's our experimental parallax. I do experiments based on what the readers are, what, what the members want. One of those experiments that we did recently was the exact match domain when that came up. What I do is in the experiment, I went out and bought 100 exact match domains and ranked them all within seven to 14 days. And I share it with you in here and nothing's, nothing's held back. Everyone gets to see it with zero backlinks. Okay, so you can go back in and all the SO experts can come in and reverse engineer it, whatever you want to do, I can say it. Okay, but we put those kind of myths down. We prove them that they're not wrong. And that allows you, and there's so many exact match domains, top level ones out there. It's unreal. I go through and show you. People think they're not around. They are. It all has to do with our how we do our on-page SEO, by the way. It's 100% white hat. We did another one where uh, I demystified the duplicate content myth. So, so, so you go through, you can watch the case study, you can see it as how I run my business, okay? Guess what? You don't need original content, okay? On our sites, we have duplicate content and we're ranking like crazy with it. And, and, and the thing is, is that it's now scalable, okay? You don't have to rewrite everything and so on and so forth. So we go into that. Video, we just did a, uh, a case study, a live case study. We show you where we get the backlinks, everything that we did. It's in, it's in, it's in, it's in San Diego, in a very competitive marketplace, and it was for a video. And it's a different way of ranking the video. It's been up there for almost a month, stuck. We haven't done anything to it. It's above the uh, Google Places. It's right on the top there. It's a very competitive marketplace. And we did that using methods that are different than what's taught in the two Jedi Force. Why? Because we've always got to be paving the path. We've always got to be pushing the envelope of what's possible and what's not. We leave the way for you on that. It's not always going to work. Let us do the experimentation for you. You get the benefit and the results on here. Um, websites ranking today. It's actually it wasn't 20. It's a lot more than that. Um, it's a typo. Anyways, um, we're going to go over all this stuff on here. You know what to charge per call. Uh, how to get business owners calling you instead of you calling them, you know, how you can run this business from anywhere in the world. It really is the way you should be. If you get into the mindset that you've got to go out and meet that customer face to face, in my opinion, and from my own personal experiences, and I know there's different roads to Rome and there's different ways to do things, but in my experience, if I have to go out and meet a client, or if I even have to talk to a client on the phone, that's less minutes that I get to spend growing and working with the business. So uh, weekly coaching calls. We've already done Six weekly, six coaching calls. So we're six into them. They're all recorded. They're all over an hour, um, and people love them. And uh, I really encourage you to go back in there, and and then rewatch those. We're gonna have another one coming up this Thursday. There's always tons of things of value on here. Um, we just opened this up, um, and it's very important to me that it's opened up carefully. Um, under all the module sections, I've got comments, and I go through and uh, and respond to those. And the important thing about our coaching forum is that it's private. Uh, it's not accessible to bots. It's not accessible to the outside people. When you go to apply for it, you, know, you obviously have to be an existing member, and it takes 24 to 48 hours to get approved for that uh, because we, we're going to be holding a lot of really kind of trade secrets in there. And it's also important to me that it's a very positive and uplifting, supportive area. That's the kind of environment and culture that I want to create here. Um, People ask me all the time when I'm at different events and stuff like this, they'll say, you know, they've, they've either gotten Bill's book or Transformation or seen a video or something like that. Say, Chris, what do you, what do, you do to get your six-pack abs? And uh, my response always throws them off guard. I say, my, my most, you want to know my most favorite ab exercise? You say, yeah, 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 what is it? What do you do? I say, I lift others up. And what I mean by that is that, is that if you want to get soul voltage, if you want to really take yourself from a lower version of yourself to a higher version of yourself and lift someone up along the way. And that's the kind of environment I want to form. So that's why I took some time to open it up on here. So Don, I think it's probably about a beginning and one questions on here. So let's, let, let's dive into it, my friend. All right, buddy. Um, uh, first, I, I think I'm getting a ton of people to just find the link so they can get into it. Yeah. You, you want to hit that link? It's right here. It's callz.com. Right up here. You can, you can be all right. 
Let me see if I can I can get that. I think I got it. And just let me know in the box real quick, everybody, if you got that. It's Kalzu, K-A-L-L-Z-U dot com slash PP call hyphen coaching. Just put a yes in the box if you got it. And then um, just a, a, before we go into the Q&A, I just want to warn you guys, we um, have almost 700 people on this call, and we're limiting this to 200 people. So um, get in as quick as you can because it will sell out shortly. And um, Chris, take it away with Q&A. Just to, real quick, I got to just put I'm in in the box if you're in there because I'm actually in the community. And I just kind of want to say hi to you guys. And um, I'll meet you inside. Got a lot of people saying, okay, they just, got, they just bought. Cool. All right, Eddie bought. Somebody got a 404 error, so I will get that to you. All right, everybody, just let me know real quick. I'm going to try and post that link one more time, and then I'm going to let Chris take it away. Cool. Okay. Tons of people are in. Yeah. No, I see a lot. In, 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 in. Okay, good. All right, awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and end. Uh, man, look at it. <laughs> all these people are in. Awesome. Cool, yeah, and it's um, it's two ninety seven, um, no monthly fee, and um, there is a money back guarantee and everything. And you're getting all the coaching calls from Chris, the insane software with the automation, and uh, it's just, I think that when you did open it up to your list, you, you gave a monthly charge, and uh, this is the, the lowest it's ever been, and the lowest it's probably ever gonna be. And uh, Chris, go ahead and take it over. The links in the box if you guys need it, and we'll try and get to all the questions. There's a ton of. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great. So I'm going to go in here and dive into some of these on here. First of all, I want you to know, also when you get on this page too, you're going to have some of the most common questions and answers on here. Um, look, I want to be very clear about a couple of things with this particular program. Uh, I want to be clear that uh, this is, you are venturing into operating and running your own business. Okay. So, um, you have your own responsibilities to do with that. We're going to give you every tool, coaching opportunity, forum opportunity, training opportunity to ensure your success. But ultimately, that's your responsibility, as I talked about before, taking responsibility on that. So people are asking on here, uh, what's the three dollar per month? Okay, we've got phone calls on here. So if you, um, you're gonna, I have to pay for these phone numbers, and I just transfer that 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 over to you. On that. So basically, what that is is that is that when you when you're ready and the training takes you through this, you you build a site up and we show you how to do that step by step. You got your site up and running. Um, it's time to put a phone number on there, a phone number that you can forward to anybody that you want at any time uh, instantly, and that phone number is going to cost you three dollars per month. Okay, so three dollars per month for the phone number. There's no contract. You cancel at at any time, uh, and then the and then the per minute charge on the phone calls is 10 cents. Okay, these are just my cost to, to uh, forward over to you. And these are minuscule costs and compared to, you know, these are like below operating costs because you just, you know, I've shared with you some of the numbers on here. We've, a lot of you have already agreed and, and seen the numbers. So, so you've already gone through this. Um, okay, let me get to the questions. Oh, okay. Can you do it from India? I don't have a U.S. number. That's an awesome question. You can do this. Let's be very clear about this. You can do this from anywhere in the world. The software system, you're going to have U.S. numbers available. Okay? So um, it's going to be U.S. numbers, and you don't need client, – clients aren't going to want to meet with you to begin with. Okay? Once they find out what you're offering. Which is, the, which is exactly what they've always wanted along. It's like a breath of fresh air, right? I'm just going to deliver you phone calls of live customers that are particularly interested in your business, okay? You're going to be billed every seven days. This is the price we agreed on. This is a qualified call. This is an unqualified call. you got nothing to risk. Every seven days, you have nothing to risk. At the end of seven days, you don't want to pay this bill. That's fine. I'll just move on to the, and, and find your competition. Or uh, maybe it's a new niche, and I've got to work out kind of tweak the numbers and stuff. Again, it's got to work out so the customer is handing you $10 every week and you're handing them back more. It's got to be that model to be able to do that. But you can be, I want to be very clear about this, and I appreciate you asking. You can do this from anywhere in the world. Let me, let me just put a situation out there real quick. Um, just from what we kind of learned on the webinar today, what Chris is doing just with uh, Craigslist, and he teaches, and Chris is the best teacher, I believe, at YouTube. And local marketing and Craigslist marketing, okay? 
He's insane with it, and he can get so many leads with it. But just think about just that one simple thing. If you were doing just automotive or lawyers or whatever with Craigslist, and you went in, copied their postlets that were working, and then just got the leads, and then sent them out. And it's real easy to do. You can give them away for free, and then let people try the leads first before buying them. Or how easy is it to call a business and say, hey, I've got the leads um, that you want, basically, and you can pay this much for them. We'll send them to you. If you like them at the end of the week, pay the bill. If not, that's cool, too. We'll go ahead and just send them on over to X attorney over there. Quick fear, fear loss. They have no, nothing to fear that they're going to have all the leads that they don't like them. They're not qualified. That just anything goes wrong. They don't have to pay the bill. Then they hear other companies' names are going to get the leads if they don't get them. It's the easiest sale you can make. Look at all these on here too. This is just, and we're not in any of these niches. The, the opportunities are just endless on here. If you're looking at Craigslist, uh, this is in the finance on in here. This is something that's really big right now. You look at this special rate for tax season, income tax only $59 or more. I happen to know a little bit about that business. What, what they're actually doing is they'll end up uh, taking that, that, that client for the $59. Sometimes they charge free or $25 because they know they'll get enough customers in where they'll be able to look at their financial records because that's, that's what they do when they do taxes and they'll be able to roll over the 401ks, get them into different types of other kind of insurance uh, plans and they end up making Muku and Muku bucks from that. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's really what something like this is. And uh, this is huge this time of year on this end of it. Uh, title loans. These guys are sharks, man. I'm telling you, they make a ton of money off of people, unfortunately. But this is an industry there uh, on this end. And that's how easy you can, you can get into it. Let me get back to the questions on here. Um, there's tons not of them. To mention, yeah, not to mention real estate agents. Real estate agents are huge. And, 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 and don't think like, because I'm sharing some of this stuff and there's so many people on the call and people buying this, that, that, that these things are going to be saturated. They're not. It's just, it's, I mean, you and I and everybody on this phone call, no matter how big and huge we grow in this industry, we're still all just going to be these little pieces of sand in this huge desert. It's just, it's just so enormous. Anyways, okay, so someone on here, and I appreciate this, Kevin on here. Uh, he's, he's, he's actually complaining that I should have sold it for four ninety seven. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, he says, uh, uh, I'm in. Uh, we got more in. Um, are your exact match domains still hitting the page one? You better believe it, buddy. I'm here after the crazy Google. I did it right after, Daniel. I did it right after the crazy Google announcement. When everyone's freaking out, their exact match domains, blah, blah, blah. That's when I said, you know what, team? We're heading into the laboratory. We're going to test this thing. And that's when I did it. You get on the course, you'll see it all there. And you can go back and look at all the sites. They're all holding page one. And for your little SEO people out there who, who are kind of get into it a little bit geeky, you can do any kind of reverse engineering stuff you want. I show it all. There's no tricks or sleight of hands there. And it's not, I, we didn't do it one time. Okay? We did it hundreds of times. Okay. Um, I was thinking that was about. One more question that I saw come up, and yeah. uh, I'll kind of let you answer it. And Because um, there's just only so much time that we have to show you so many different things that Chris teaches. But uh, they were asking if you need your own website. And I just kind of want you to talk about what you do with citations, YouTube, and all the free things that you've got to get out there that you don't have to have a website up to generate leads with. Absolutely. Well, first of all, Craigslist, you don't need a website there. We, we only do text ads. That's all we do. We just type in a phone number. That's it. We're going to lead into a site and that's it. So we don't get fancy with that. And if you take a look at these other ones on here, this is, um, we also do, uh, there's our billing. And you can take a look at these in here. Um, we do we do citations, so we'll do a Yelp. Uh, you can do a Yelp. You can do a Call Zoo. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, any kind of citation is, is going to be good because most citations, the root directory, has usually got a PR six or seven like YouTube. It's already got authority. It's got you know 20, 50 million pages on it, and you're one little tiny page on there, and you toss a couple of backlinks at it. Guess what happens? It shoots, above the, it shoots above the fold and above Google Places so exactly like this does. And anybody on the phone call can type in Tony Sacramento and you'll see that right there. Okay? And that's how easy that is to do. You slap a phone number on it and you find a towing company that, that, that wants to leave. You offer them an unbelievable risk-free offer and guess what? You've got a customer. It, 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 so no, you don't need a website. But I do recommend that, that you build websites and I show you how to do it. It's so easy. The way that we show you how to do it, we 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 give you the temp, we, we give you I, I give you the exact template I use. I mean, the exact same darn thing I use. 
I'll show you this. Here it is. Just take it. Go. Um, we show you exactly how we do ours, and and uh, and and we've already demystified the whole um, duplicate list stuff. It, it just we're we're just killing. It. So great question. Thanks for pointing that out, Don. Let me keep going on here. Okay, good. Yeah, if you can try and see some of them, I am doing my best. We've got so many people live on the call. I'm just trying to get everybody in there. That's all right. You know what? I'm right where I want to be, so I'm going to be here for a long time. <laughs> Whatever questions we got. So, w would you recommend using uh, this for our own business to generate leads to our services? That's an interesting question, Dan. Um, yeah, sure, you could. I don't do it, but you certainly could do that. There is, there, there's no question about it. So, um, I'm just thinking outside of the box here, and then move on to the next question, Dan. But this is one thing that you could do. You could, for example. And I'm going to do something probably a little bit different than maybe what everyone on, on the phone call is thinking. Okay, uh, just outside the box, you go and you and you rank a video, okay, on page one in the search engines for any kind of niche, and you put a phone number at the bottom there to call if they would like that 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 video to be theirs. And you make the video professional. We show you how to do that. Um, on that end. In fact, if you want to see a sample of one of our videos. You just type in, type in uh, Bail Bonds San Diego. Very competitive marketplace. These are the kind of videos that we do. No one's met on that. Okay, so now you know another one of my niches, right? So there's three niches I'm in. Okay, um, gladly share them. Just don't get in the, on the same city that I'm in. That's all that I ask. There's plenty of room in other areas. Towing, mobile marketing, and bail bonds right there. So you'll see a video like that. You could put up a video like that. They can have that call forwarded to you. And that would be, uh, and then, uh, because trust me, that this is what I found out that by accident, and others that have confirmed this uh, uh, too, is that a lot of businesses will type in, you know, they'll type in their own keyword, right? And then they see the video, like, oh, my competition's got a video up. And then they click on it, right? And then they see the description. It's like, hey, would you like this to be yours? And you'll see that the site that we put up is, is generic and can fit with any bail box. And that's how we do that kind of stuff. But So, yeah, you could, and you could do it for your own business as well. Um, John, good question. John's asking here, what uh, what does it cost to implement and maintain this business each month? Well, I can tell you, you'll profit a lot more than what it will cost you to run. That's a short and easy answer on here. But to be, you know, all serious and and and, and take the question to heart because that is an intelligent question to ask. Um, if you're there's there's different ways to enter into this marketplace. I recommend doing it through the website. Okay, it's it's, it's not the fastest quickest way, but it's pretty darn fast. It's like a couple week process, and and, and you've got calls coming in. And the and the reason for that is the way that I view websites, and they're really easy to make. Uh, we give you the templates, everything, um, and. And they're very thin sites. We do these silo sites. They're very thin. They're very niche specific. So they're only a few pages long. Okay. So they're very short. They're very easy to do um, yourself. So really, that's the cost of the domain, and of course your time, and that is worth something, of course. Um, and um, and then the cost of the phone number, which is going to be three dollars, and then ten cents per minute, and your own business. Okay. And th there's not a niche out there that you're not going to charge at least, you know, fifteen. Fifteen dollars a month. No, for you, I think our lowest niche is like seventeen dollars per call by phone. So uh, you can very easily, you know, it's a, uh, you know, that's the wonderful thing about the internet, right? You get the scale. I don't have to open up a brick and mortar business. I don't have to have, you know, uh, U.S. based employees or none of that kind of stuff. So I don't think it gets, you know, the, the operation costs are low. I hope that answered your question here. Can you order phone numbers elsewhere? No, nope, sorry, you can't. You gotta use our system. You gotta use our phone numbers. But I'm in. Thank you. Got a lot of in. Okay, I'm in. Good. Awesome. Okay. Real quick, if anybody's having trouble um, with the link, it's just getting hammered. I'm sure by the server to try and click it again, and uh, we'll get everybody in that we can while we're still on the call. That is a self-hosted one, by the way. Okay. Anyways, um, I should have. Contact you this morning. Anyways, uh, okay. I love it. A lot of bravery here. Uh, someone says, I'm in. I'm scared, but I'm in. Awesome. Thanks for taking massive action and stepping outside of your comfort zone. That's the way to go to make a difference. Good for you. We'll be there to support you all the way. 
Hi, my name is Patrick, and I just purchased. Welcome, Patrick. This, I love this one. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate this. I'm going to share this. Uh, this is an answer to my prayer. Very good. Thank you. Love it. Yeah, no, no, seriously. Yeah, I mean, I mean, really, uh, you know, and I, and, and I think a lot of people got the feel from that in, in the beginning. Uh, you know, this is, this is really about the, that's how we started this conversation today. This is about change and a transformation process that takes place. It, it's a never ending process. And it's a process about every day, you know, learning to forgive others, living in a world of abundance, learning to take responsibility. And I don't have it all figured out, but I wake up every day and I go, look, I, I didn't focus on the left-hand side of my balance sheet because I screwed up 20 times, but I made one tiny success that day. And that's what I focus on. And that's what keeps me happy. That's what keeps me going. And that's what gives me the energy because I fall in love with the process, not the end result. You fall in love with the end result, the $10,000 per month or whatever your number is, and you fall in love with that, that's your end goal, that's your focus. I'm sorry. In my opinion, it's going to be very difficult. You may never get there. Why? Because that's not the goal. That's not the satisfaction. Trust me, when you get there, you'll realize that it's not. The real satisfaction, no matter what you're doing, whether you want to do this paper call business or whatever you want to do in your life, is fall in love with the daily process. When you become passionate about the process of seeing yourself change and, and rewarding yourself for the tiny little changes on here and stepping away from that complete void of perfectionism. Just focus on process, on the, on, on the daily progress that you make, not perfection, day in and day out, okay? In perfect mass of action, you're gonna get there and you're gonna fall in love with that process. And, and, and you see it every day. Don't take my word for it. You see it every day. There's examples all over the place. Examples are, well, geez, He's a multimillionaire. Why is he still working? Because his end goal wasn't to become a multimillionaire. He's in love with the daily process of whatever he or she is creating and adding value to the world. That's what you got to get into. That's what you got to focus on. Okay? Enough of the soapbox. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I got it. There's so many people. Great concept. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, just real quick. Um, Two things I just want to add. Add if you guys have a question, just type Q Q Q, and then your question because we're getting so many people. And then if anybody else is, is bot, just put I bot, so I can just kind of welcome you in, so we can see who's bot, who's got questions, and filter them out better. Okay, great question on here. Um, do I need a VPN to post ads on different U.S. cities throughout Craigslist? We go over that in the course, and you do not. It's a complete. That's a good, it's a good question, but I guarantee you this is, you, you haven't seen this before. Um, okay, so Sam out there just confirming, yes, EDMs are still working for him too. Good job. Chris and Don, I'm in. I'm definitely in all the way from down under. Jim, already. So we got Ozzy down under. He's in. He sees the potential here. He's going to take massive action on here. How long is the coaching program? Great question. It never ends. It's every Thursday I get on. Every Thursday I get on and we just go for it. Okay. Um, it's it's something I enjoy doing. And you can see that in the call. Every Thursday, hop on, get on there, go for it. Okay. Are there any other monthly charges you charge besides the three phone calls in the minutes? For you, Brad, no. Any multiple pay options? I'm sorry at this time, Jeremy, and I know some other people have asked at this time, there is not. We know we'll fill up with the 200, then we're going to close it down. And that's not a scarcity thing. It's that when we bring in, you know, we, we, I've got 300, 300 and some odd members right now. We bring on another 200. My, that, that puts strain on our support staff, everything. And we've got to grow into that before we can let others in. And we may offer a payment program the next time that we open. But the last time we opened up was 60 days ago, so six hours. What course is the video ranking for YouTube, Kenny G, on here? Um, we do our case studies on here, and then I've got a separate course that you've got access to in there. Can you show the... So let me try to combine some of these questions together. I'm in. Good. Play up and in. Good. 
Sorry about the payment plan, guys. Are there any costs involved other than hosting domain and the phone calls? No, there, there's absolutely no, no OTOs. And, and, and Don is probably kicking me right now, imaginary, <laughs> for not doing that. But there is no OTOs, okay? So we just kept it simple. It's just, here's what it is, you're in. Uh, you know, you see the value, you're in, you want to climb on board, you don't. You're not going to get into uh, a whole array of uh, Mr. Wilson's. Right. <laughs> okay, we will work with, in will this work with insurance agents, JJ asks, or would I need to choose another niche? What do you think? Insurance agents, yeah, insurance agents, any kind of insurance agent, uh, especially like the guys who've got the State Farm ones, uh, a good friend of mine has got his own State Farm agency, and those guys are always looking for leads, and they don't really care which kind of avenue it's coming from, uh, whether it's someone looking for car insurance uh, or maybe a specific type of insurance. Some states have, you know, you get a little bit more niche. So some states might have, you know, require you like Arizona requires that you have insurance. And if you don't, if you get caught without it, then you've got like a special, I don't know, they call it like an X-22 or some insurance plan or whatever. So a lot of people type that in. So that's kind of a little bit niche. And, and, and that would be one avenue in because once the insurance guy gets you in, right, now it's your home, your life insurance, your 401k, or blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's it. My advice would be is, is on the insurance side of it to find that easy entry point for that for that lead, okay? Find that easy entry point, something kind of niche. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, just need, it needs, okay, cool. Cloud, all those templates. Names. I'm in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Man, so like Glenn, can you go back there and, and, and check? Because I'm too good at answering these questions. Cause I do not. We do not want to go over 200 on here. Okay. Um, I will go if check. You can just go back there and check it out. I'll answer those questions. Um, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn my recording off because I'll need to get a password and stuff. So hopefully you get it. Okay. Cool. And um, all right. So if if anybody's having, I'm going to type in here. If, uh, if anybody's having any, if they purchased and they've had any issues on it, let me just give you my support. So far, when I get in, let me send to all. And that's just uh, support.callzoo.com. Uh, credit card. Is there a credit card option on that JBZoo? I, I don't even remember. I think so. I'm not 100%, though. Maybe not. I'm 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 thinking there is on there. I'm thinking that there is. Yeah, I, actually, I know there is. I paid with one yeah, today. Yeah. I don't I don't have a, I don't have a PayPal. I bought okay. it today, and I don't yeah. have a PayPal, so I know yeah. there's a credit card option. Okay, so there's definitely a credit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. My mind is a complete blank. But yeah, okay, so there. Yes, there is a credit card. On there. Credit card or PayPal. I'm in. Ah, uh, Don, you might want to help me out with this answer on here. Uh, can I sell mobile with it? Uh, what yeah. Do you, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, you can sell all kinds of mobile with this, man. Very simple, especially when you, you've got the call whisper. Can you explain it? I think that's an amazing service that we need to talk about a little bit more. Amazing sure. part of it is the call whisper because um, I've actually you, – I've even done it on, like, my dog pages where I'll send that to breeders through the call whisper system, and I'll send all the leads to different breeders. You can use it from all kinds of different things. So talk about that a little bit more. Yeah, but basically how that works is this. It's built in the system. You don't have to record it. You just type it in, and uh, we've got a, a nice-sounding kind of non-computer-sounding female voice. And uh, basically what it does is, is let's say that you're, uh, you're, you're building a site up. You're building a property up. It's starting to get traffic in front of it, and these, the, the traffic will then call, whatever that niche may be. It could be insurance, dog breeding, whatever, it, you know. Uh, plumbing painters, they call that, that number. And when they call that number, what, what happens next is that, is that it gets patched over to whoever you forward it to. Let's say you forward it over to, you can forward it over to yourself, you can forward it over to somebody you want to do business with that maybe you haven't contacted yet. And before that call gets connected, it just says a, a brief message before the call connects. So the plumber picks up the phone and it's just a brief message on there and says, hey, this is a free call from uh, freeleads.com. If you want to receive more of these, just visit our website. Whew, patches right over, and the customer gets on and says, "Hey, I'm looking for a plumber. 
um, we have a hot water heater that went out, blah, blah, blah. Okay? They get a couple of those late in snap. It doesn't happen all the time, okay? So I don't want to paint the picture that happens all the time, but it happens a lot. Because they get curious. Like, I'm getting fucking, excuse my language, I'm getting free leave here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm, getting, I'm getting free leave here. And, uh, uh, and stuff. I'll tell you a, 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 a funny story. We had a, uh, I was, uh, actually, I probably shouldn't share this. Uh, anyways, now I kind of have to, but there, there was a, I was, I just won't mention the person's name, but I'm going to tell you that this person is, uh, everybody knows this person from presidents to athletes. And this person is an incredible speaker um, and is known for uh, moving people. This person off the stage and got the dirtiest mouth in the world. I've never seen anything like it before. I was shocked. <laughs> and it was, I thought, wait a minute, I, I probably shouldn't say that name. And, uh, and, and, and I don't have a dirty mouth, by the way. So that was kind of odd for me to have a dirty mouth. But anyways, um, so that's how the call whisper system works. It's just another tool that you can use. It's also nice to keep it on uh, and maybe shorten the message up for your existing clients so that your existing clients know, hey, wait a minute, this call that I just got, this is this is one that Don's sending me over. Okay, so hey, just a reminder, this is a this, this is a lead for Don. Woo, hey, I'm uh, looking for a mobile mechanic. Blah blah blah. And then you can also use it for that. You can just leave it blank. It's up to you. It's got complete flexibility, but it, but it is powerful uh, when used right. Now uh, let's move on to that. Thanks for bringing that up. Real questions? quick, I will let you guys know yeah. that. Um, we're getting about a, like a sale every time I refresh, and uh, half the spots are pretty much gone. So if you um, don't get it on the call, it's probably going to be gone. Yeah, yeah. I, well, you, you you filled up this webinar like a boss, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I've never seen anybody do that before, except for Frank Kern. And uh, I mean that in all sincerity. Awesome, our people love us. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. Well, okay, so question, question on here. How long will this website be up for? It'll be up until we get it to 200 sales. Then we're, I'm going to close it down. That's not a, a fault scarcity. I just we, we've got our systems in place. It takes you know our site just isn't we hand it over to you and then leave you. We've got the coaching calls, we have support questions, all this kind of stuff. We want to be able to service the people. Uh, yes, unconditional 30-day money-back guarantee, of course. Um, I bought good. Um, what do you think would be the, the best three niches to get started in and get some cash flowing? Um, Kevin, that's, I don't, I don't want to answer this question in the sense that I, will, I don't want to appear that there's like a quick and fast way for cash. Uh, this is a very good method for making cash, for building a business, but you are building a business and I, I, I just don't want to. And I and I also, if any of you who've been to the uh, landing page, there's a there's a message there for me. I just I just remind everybody that you're running a business here. This is not a get rich scheme or system. That's that's not what I'm selling here. Okay, I'm selling a real business and that uh, you can operate and you can rise with the rest of us. All right. Um, and I find that you know if you're looking for uh, even with a good system, if you're looking for something fast to get into. That, that what tends to happen, and I'm not saying this will happen to you, Kevin, I'm not pointing this out, but for uh, more times than not, it happens to, to other people. Uh, but I'm not singling you out. Is that um, they'll just come in and they'll go like, wow, um, I'm going to try to get in this thing as fast as possible, and they don't commit. Um, you you, you got to commit, and you got to really dig in deep and get your heels in. Uh, let me give you a real example of what I mean by that. Um, when I first got into the towing, Niche, which I would recommend you don't, by the way. Um, but we committed to it, um, and the reason that that, that what, what was so difficult about the towing niche was this: is that we didn't realize how towing businesses operate. They basically the majority of the of the, of the uh, business they 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 outsource, and there's these huge call centers like in Gresham, Oregon, that take all of these towing calls that come in from a particular area and. The, and the dispatcher is handling, you know, 100 or 50 towing companies all over the United States. And, she, and she's got particular questions that she asks to field it out. Now, 
that's that's worse than a secretary to try to get through. I mean, because they're like Gresham and they don't know anybody and they could give a crap about you if you got three leads. We would we weren't we were not prepared for that. And we could have given up. Uh, but we did we 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 pursued and we found a way, an effective way, but it took us a while because of Bumpy Lie. And uh, you know, quite honestly, uh, everyone on the call and people who purchase, you're going to find unexpected things like that with niches. That's just the way business is. But guess what? Just keep pursuing, keep pushing forward. Focus on the other side, the progress, not the perfection side of the balance sheet every day, and you will persist and you will get through this. And it is so freaking worth it. So, good question. About question, uh, how do you determine your pricing for each niche? That's a great question. Uh, I'm going to answer it briefly now, but I go over in detail with examples uh, in several sources in the course. Uh, the top level of how we determine what prices are is is it, it has to be a financial win-win for both parties. Okay, now the if if you take for example uh, a, a, a tone, let's just run the tone stuff. So the, the the average gross income, and we've just found this out through dealing with many tow companies, is is about 140 bucks. That's gross. Okay, that's not net. They've got these trucks. We eat up a lot of gas, and they got wear and tear on them. And these trucks are, you know, normally they're leasing them, and it is a tax deduction. But these trucks are normally around forty-five, six-five thousand dollars, and, and, and upwards, depending on the type of equipment they have. They've got gasoline. There, there, there's a certain percentage of that that's going to go out to the uh, of, um, dispatcher. So you kind of whittle that down, and, and you look at what's left on the table. Um, and you kind of break that down. So, so if I were to charge, say, twenty dollars per lead, per, per qualified lead, to a, 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 a towing operator, okay, and and out of those, they were able to close, let's let's say, uh, seven seventy percent of those, which with a live call, and and, and the qualifying is correct, you know, that's pretty much going to be pretty realistic. Again, it depends on the on the industry, but that's pretty realistic. On that. So they're going to hand me every month on that end of it. Um, I'm going to send them, let's say, 10 phone calls. So they're going to pay me $200 in a week, but they got seven jobs. So seven times 140 gross. So it, it's going to roughly be, you know, they're going to they're going to hand me 200, and I'm going to hand them back about $1,000. But that's gross. But that's a win-win situation, okay, for them. And that's kind of how you price it out. Now, you take a DUI attorney, for example. And if you go to Google uh, uh, AdWords and you, and you go to pay-per-click, and a pay-per-click for a DUI attorney in just about any city, it's about 100 bucks. Uh, it's expensive. Some of them are 50 bucks, but per click. So why can they charge that much? That's what the market, you know, that, the way that pay-per-click system works is, 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 is it's, it's, it charges what the market will bear. That's what the market is bearing. I remember earlier I gave you the stat that you can charge anywhere from four to twenty times more than a pay per click, but a pay per click can go. So uh, we do have some DUI attorneys. It's not a niche we decided to expand in. The ones we have are profitable, but uh, we just decided to go elsewhere. But but we can charge anywhere from two to three hundred fifty dollars per qualified call. Okay, uh, that's because DUI attorneys a minimum. A, a decent DUI attorney is going to is going to get when they get just one even easy calling is going to be three thousand upwards to twenty thousand. And the reality is is that when you start to get to know a little bit about that industry, and this is where it kind of helps you do a little bit of research, um, is that there's a certain percentage of their business that are re, are, are repeat offenders. So that means it, this is my second DUI. So what does that mean? That's like a ten thousand dollar case. Okay, and if, and if, and if, and, if, and if I if you know. If I had to pay a thousand dollars to to go through five phone calls at two hundred dollars a lead on here, and I got a ten thousand dollar case, that's a good exchange. Okay, so that's roughly how you do it. Uh, and then once you're in the niche and you're actually doing it, and you've got a couple of customers, you'll see kind of how how that works and plays out in 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 reality. Once you got it played out, like when you know it, man, as I teach in the course, just expand that puppy out. Get into every freaking city you can. Leverage the internet. Okay, is there a quick start to get earning money as rapid as possible? I think I answered that with Kevin. I was like, you know, again, can please help out. Okay. Here's a 
if we work hard, what would be a reasonable expectation of, of uh, uh, income? Uh, these are always difficult questions to answer because uh, we, we all are going to run a business slightly different. Uh, and uh, some of us are going to choose to work all day Saturday and Sunday rather than, you know, spend time doing other things. And other of, of us are, you know, working a full-time job. We have kids and families, so we got a few hours to do this out here. What I can tell you and everyone else on the phone call is, is that if you, uh, if you stay focused and you commit and you keep moving forward and you stay focused on the, on the forums, you get support from other members on the forums, you get support from the coaching calls every Thursday, you follow what I'm teaching because what I'm teaching is not theory. I mean, I hope you realize that. It, it, it's not like outdated stuff. It's cutting edge. This is what's happening. This is what we're doing today. I don't know what else we could possibly hand over that. Okay, you just need to implement it and commit to it. And I'll tell you a story. Um, my son, um, who uh, when we were at Legoland, okay, um, and we taught him how to manage his money. Okay, so manage it correctly. You give a little bit of it away. Uh, he's, he's got a retirement plan already. Uh, and he's got a little bit left over, okay? And uh, so, and, and he, he, he actually really saved his money well. So we were in Legoland, and we went all through Korea four months. He hadn't spent a dime of his money, nothing, and, uh, which, which was good. And, uh, and we went to Legoland not too long ago, and uh, we were walking out, and if, they, if you've ever been to Legoland, they've got the Lego store, right? At, at the gate as you're exiting out. And that's like a kid's heaven. And, and, and my son decided that, damn, I want to load up on some Legos. <laughs> and and it, was, it was so funny because he had, he, had, he had earned it. He had been responsible, and now this was something that he wanted to do. And this is what we taught him. And he had loaded up on like these, you know, you can get like these $200 Lego kits, right? I mean, they're like these huge boxes. And I was like, 200 bucks to put something together that takes you a week to do. Well, he's like stacked up with like three of these. I'm like, all these other kids in the line are looking at him going, dude, we want to be like you. And um, so anyways, took it home and um, and he had this big monster. It was like a $200 thing. It was like this huge like Star Wars spaceship thing. It was like three feet long. And, you know, uh, once it was finally built, it's like four or five pounds. And it's hours and hours to put together. Well, he had gotten about three-fourths of it done. And when he got three fourths of it done, he has, he has two sisters. One of his sisters um, stepped on it, and it kind of, you know, it, it, it broke it apart. Now, if you've ever put together Legos, it's like a, it's like a map. It's like step one, put this piece together. Step two, and it's like literally like a book. Each page you turn over, and it shows you how to put it together. So when it kind of crumbles. It's like, well, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what page to go to, right? So, so he just he just started, he, he, he had a frustration. He just broke down. So we let him be, let him be able to stop. A couple of days later, past, I said, hey, what are you going to, you know, what are you going to put that together? And uh, he's like, he's like, yeah, I just, I don't even know where to begin. I said, I, said, I don't even know what to do. I, I've tried. I, I just, in his tears, he, he, started, he started tearing up. And I said, look, sit down, let me talk to you. I said, this is not about building the Legos. This is a life lesson right here. I want you to be the 1%. And what is the 1%? The 1% doesn't give up the first time they have an obstacle. And I said, it doesn't take anybody special or anybody different. It's just don't give up when you have your first frustration. This is a frustrating situation. And I said, and I, said I want you to think about this and not give up on it. And I just let him go at that point, and I let him know this is not about Legos. This is about life lessons and about being the 1%. Next day, on the kitchen table, he didn't say nothing. Had this three-foot Star Wars Lego ship fully built. He was so happy. So I would tell you, Murray, and everyone else out there, if we work hard, what would reasonably ex expect an income? I can't tell you. Just don't give up on the first obstacle. Keep putting the Lego pieces together. You'll build your ship. All right.
What is the crud list part, and why is it held back for 30 days? Good day, Ken. It's held back for 30 days because it's a $40,000 piece of proprietary software system and method that we develop, and we, we require an NDA that you sign in order to use it. And I don't want someone just coming in, hopping out, just to get that system. Okay, it's a super powerful system. Do you need it to be successful? No, the whole course, the way it's laid out, is that you can immediately see how you can be successful without it. We're just asking that you stick around with it. We'll invest in you if you invest in us. It's a fair trade off. Okay, good question, Randy. Um, is there a way to outsource if you're not in the U.S.? Um, yes, uh, you can outsource, and um, in there, uh, in there, I give um, I give a you a course uh, that I did. It's called Hire a VA, and um, what I did, Randy, is um, I did it live on a call like I am right now with with all of you. And on the call, I answered your question. And while I was doing it, I, I, I found, interviewed, and hired a VA live on, on, on the webinar while taking questions, just like I'm doing right now. Uh, and I didn't do that once, I did it twice. And I got all the PDFs for it. And uh, you get access to that. So, and I did, and, 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 and everything that I use, exactly how I run, run my business today, I don't use any paid tools for, for running my VA thing. And, uh, but, so is there a way to outsource? You can outsource everything and anything. My suggestion would be, <clears throat> though, that you um, see outsourcing, the, 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 this is the mistake I see people get into with outsourcing. I know because I made it myself and it took me about eight months to realize it. And that is, you can't just hire an outsourcer and just go, here, follow this course and do it. it, it, it that, that doesn't work. You're not hiring an outsourcer. When you're, when you're hiring an outsourcer, you have to put on a different cap. It took me a long time to realize this. You've got to put on, you're, you're now a project manager, is, is really what you are when you hire your first VA. You're a project manager. And you've got to create a system for them to succeed in where they have a clear, measurable objective of exactly what they're supposed to be doing day in and day out. And no one will care about your business as much as you do. Okay, so there's, there's that whole other cap you got to put on when you have to develop that skill. The good news is, is that anybody can. Okay, uh, and you don't, and, 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 if you're, and if you're outside the U.S., uh, all of my outsources are, are, are outside the U.S. Do you recommend that we solely focus on paper call model? Or we can also offer other services like mobile, social media marketing. That's an outstanding question, Danny. <clears throat> For people who choose to, uh, paper call is this is a, an outstanding lead-in because I think everyone who's on the call and still on the call now realizes that this is not a complicated sale. You've reversed out all risk to the customer. Okay, uh, and and the conversations are very short. So you don't need, you're not educating the customer on, you know, you don't have to explain to them a live phone call, right? Well, you'd have to explain to them, you know, maybe you know why they need to rank a site or you know how we're going to do mobile and the benefits and blah blah blah. So it's very quick and easy. Now they've gained your trust. You know what's going to happen is they're going to be contacting you for these other services, or if they don't and you want to contact them. How warm is that lead? They're already having a successful business relationship with you. You're already a positive part of their business. You want to have a, another positive discussion about mobile, about how they need to switch their site over to mobile? I think that's a pretty easy discussion at that point. So yes. Um, and, and, and I've been criticized for my business model by not doing that. Uh, and uh, actually when I was, uh, <clears throat> when I got in, when I had the honor be uh, with Dan Kennedy and invited out to Ohio and spend the day with him, with myself and five others. We, we did case studies on all of us, or six of us total. And uh, we got to spend an entire day in a room where we did nothing but ask Dan Kennedy questions and he gave us answers. And he chastised me for not offering these other services. Yeah. 
<clears throat> I still don't go back. But I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. Bought, I'm in, I'm in. I bought. So when R says R, diving into it. So it's great content. So super, super thank you for that. Um, real quick, um, is there anybody on the call? We're kind of still sorting through questions. And I'll let Chris kind of look through those. Anybody on the call here that's um, – I actually had a buddy of mine that's in your program, and I'm in the program, and a bunch of other people. And if he's still on the call, I kind of want to look, bring him on so he can share what happened with him today because I think it's pretty awesome. So um, let me see if I can get him unmuted real quick, and we'll just toss him on there. Tyler, can you, can you talk? Yeah, can you, can you hear me out there? Just put a yes in the box if you guys can hear him so I can just kind of let him share what happened today. Go for it. So, yeah, I, I'll just briefly talk about my experience. You know, I was uh, about a month ago. I got a call from Donald, and he told me, hey, man, there's this awesome program out. It's from Chris Winters. It's a paper called Ninja. And, uh, you know, he, he recommended, recommended me buying it because he was only going to have it open for a very brief amount of time. So uh, I went ahead and I got into it, and I got into it with my partner, and uh, we have uh, kind of dove right into it. We, you know, we got an initial 10 domains. We decided we were going to go after a couple of uh, uh, niches to start out. And uh, we got the domain set up. You know, we got the, uh, the ads, the, the listing set up for, like, the Yelp, the Yellow Pages, all that good stuff. And uh, we just had to go into our cell phones at first. You know, we kind of wanted to see if we could generate these leads for ourselves to see if we can actually get some calls coming through. And uh, very, very quickly, we actually started getting calls coming through directly to our phones. Um, each week, it started going, uh, it started to become more and more frequent. And then uh, just yesterday, we actually got uh, Calls You set up. We got it uh, connected with our business PayPal account and uh, decided that uh, it was time to kind of dive in and, and uh, really uh, get our feet wet with the, the column, the actual businesses, and starting to sell this, uh, sell these leads to these businesses. So we, uh, we met up this morning at a, a Barnes and Noble. And uh, we went back to the Starbucks, and uh, you know we were we were sitting there, we were kind of fumbling over our words. We were having some some difficulties uh, getting in contact with some of these uh, some of these uh, owners of the company. So you know we kind of stepped out for a second, kind of took a, a a big breath. I called Donald up, and he told me to come over. So I went over to his place, and uh, you know we kind of got some notes written down on on how to how to properly position this on the call. Because it's not hard to sell. I mean, I, I was I was really fumbling my words a lot when I was talking because I was extremely nervous. I mean, if anybody's ever tried to do a cold calling or has ever tried to call a business, if you're actually trying to sell them something, it can be very very uh, uh, nerve wracking. But once I got it in my in my mind that I'm really not selling them anything, I'm really helping to build their business. It it, it really took off. And um, as Donna will tell you. Uh, I was actually sitting at his uh, at his table in his kitchen, and I, I actually made a call, and I got my first uh, official lead today, or my first uh, client today, and then I got a call from my partner shortly after that he got one as well. So we're well on our way to uh, to get these leads going. It's 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 looking up, and we're super excited to to go really really hard on this as of this point. So we uh, we we really appreciate the help, guys. Yeah, so can we just go put a can we get a, a hell yeah out of the box and awesome and great job? That's his first client, man, and, and he said it, he was nervous as hell. And I watched him do it. He he was losing his breath on a phone call. But you have the biggest leverage piece in the world. You have leads to give a business, and all you got to do is close them and say, okay, would you like these leads? If not, that's fine. You know, after the week's over, we bill you. If you don't want to pay it, that's fine. We move on and we send them over to the other place. That's all he had to do, and it's that simple to close the leads because you got everything they want. Tyler, I appreciate you coming on. I'll let Chris take back over, and uh, I just wanted to say an awesome job, man. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Congratulations, brother. That's awesome. I wasn't expecting that. So massive action taken. That's 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 beautiful on that end of it. And I love how uh, just how authentic and really it was. It's like we've all been there. It's like everyone gets kind of a little bit nervous talking to the business owner or whatever. And how he how set it up is that, that's awesome. Um, okay, uh, what do you mean by VA? VA is a virtual assistant. Uh, you don't have to have one, uh, but at some point you're going to want to hire, uh, I think, a virtual assistant. Uh, it's, just, it's just outsourcing overseas instead of hiring locally. Okay, I'm in. <clears throat> okay, uh, QQ, are the calls recorded so that you can audit them? Doug, that's a great question. Um, 
<clears throat> we actually have the ability to do that. It's just that um, I've never used it, and my current students right now have not had the uh, have not requested like it's going to be de detrimental. Let me share with you why uh, we have that ability, but I don't use it, and I and I haven't made it available to the members. And and the reason is this: is <clears throat> is you yeah. You want to ask yourself, why would I want to record the calls? Because <clears throat> the technology is there. It's normally because you want to uh, clarify whether that phone call is going to be a billable or non-billable one. That's normally what it is. There could be other things out there. I mean, if, I mean, if someone's got a really, really valid reason, and it's like totally holding them back, they can't succeed because they don't have it. You know, we'll strongly consider adding it. But normally. The reason that I, I, I use it in the beginning and I stopped because what it did is it slowed my business down because it became the it was really used for the bean counter you know, the people who got it those business owners I don't want to deal with it's like they want to listen to every single call and they're like oh you know what these other three on here I mean you can listen to it because you can see they're not qualified but it was over three minutes so please refund me on these three and I don't want to deal with people like that because the pendulum swings the other way. What happens when somebody calls and leaves a two-minute message, and, and 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 I don't get billed for it, and they call them back and they get a three hundred dollar client? See, it swings both ways. There's not a perfect system out there, okay? So, um, and I think that the the ability to be able to uh, have the recording tends to kind of lean your business that way. Now, if someone proves me wrong and they're like, I've had phenomenal success because I have the recording, then you know, I'm I'm open to anything. Anyway, that's why. Okay. <clears throat> right on. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Excellent, Tyler. That's awesome. I love that. Awesome. Uh, Chris? Okay. Yes. Uh, let me ask you, buddy. Uh, I've got a ton of people asking for the replay, and I don't know for 100% if it works. If I roll this over, and I know I've got a lot of people that are at work at this time in the U.S. or they're sleeping somewhere else. I roll this over for uh, to do this again tomorrow night. We've had such amazing feedback. Will you, you will, can you come back on? Um, I... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, sure. We, we can do it tomorrow. You, you, Great. You caught me on the spot. <laughs> what am I supposed <laughs> to say in a situation like that? Great. I figured I would try to catch you on the spot. So if anybody's having trouble um, and wants to, you know, dive through this content again, awesome. And I know we missed some questions, so I do want to get people a chance to come back on again live again tomorrow that may have missed it or couldn't get their question because something happened so we can make sure and get everybody answered. Cool. I appreciate that. I'm going to set it up and go to webinar. You take back over, bud. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, hi from Dublin. How you doing, Andrew? Uh, yeah. Will this work for me? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> if you're in Dublin or anywhere in the world, this will work for you as long as you target U.S.-based customers. And uh, and the reason that that's a good thing is that especially if you're outside the states or traveling like I do with my family uh, outside of the United States, we can still run our business because we are no longer doing a face-to-face -face business. To run a local business doesn't mean you need to be local. Okay, we'll repeat that. To run a local business doesn't mean you need to be local. <clears throat> you just need to provide outstanding value to the customer, and you need to give the customer an opportunity to try it out risk free and just get that deal. And you can do that from anywhere in the world, right? Whether you're from Dublin, India, <clears throat> or wherever. I hope that makes sense. What about calls to voicemail? <clears throat> yeah, you can send calls to voicemail if, if you want. Um, it uh, we used to do that, but it was it was like, okay, well we don't have a client yet. We're we're building these sites up. <clears throat> we don't have a whole lot of calls coming in yet. What, what's the best use of this call? We'll just forward it to somebody we'd like to do business with and see if they'll call us back. And until we get there, that's, the, 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 that's what we're doing. Okay, if you're having any problems with this whatsoever, let me just type in the support uh, on here. I'm not getting anybody, so I'm just getting one person. Uh, what about the others? So I'll put it on here, call people home. That's the support on here. Thanks, Mike. Uh, 
All right. I think I got it rolled over for us, bud, so that should be all set up. Okay, no problem. And people are asking here if they, if you, uh, there are people on here that are, are there's a few of them that um, they want to ask if they want to be put on a waiting list or whatnot. There's a couple of them, or um, they don't have their credit cards available now or, or whatever. Just uh, uh, send, send a support ticket in if you want to be put on a waiting list on here. I can't guarantee, I, I mean, the, when, it, when it reopens, it's going to reopen some more. I think you know, we've our average people in here have been playing for the price is too low. Uh, <laughs> and, and so, I mean, it's seriously, I mean, you know, 297 is. It's, that's just, it's, it's not priced correctly. It's well, just maybe, a deal, man. It's a heck of a deal. Just, it's just a deal. <laughs> it's just a deal on here. So, well, it is brilliant. Of course, it's, the course is brilliant. Thank you. Truly awesome. Great job. Uh, good for you, Ty. Great job. Excellent webinar. I will catch it again tomorrow. Uh, how many spots are in here, Anthony? Man, I'm wondering, too. I can't switch over on my screen. Um... We have about 90 spots, so um, it'll probably be, um, it may be available tomorrow night, but I doubt it. It won't be available much. All right, so Don and Chris, you're the best. Cool. No, you guys are the best. We couldn't do this without any of you here. Same time, same place. Tomorrow, I don't know. What time are you? Did you schedule me? For... <laughs> I scheduled you from uh, 7 to 9 Eastern, buddy. You better do 7 to 9 Eastern. Okay, so I, I get that. Okay, cool. All right. All right, so cool. All right, just ordered. Awesome job. Does this work in the UK? Does this work in the UK? This will, um, let me just clarify this for everybody who's, you know, uh, all of our friends in the UK, Dublin, Africa, uh, Aussies, wherever you may be in this world, this will work everywhere, but understand. And it, it's also, this is also clearly laid out in the, uh, in the uh, by page, it's got questions and answers down there. It's clearly laid out there too, so I want to be very open about that. Uh, our system has numbers in the U.S. only, okay? But you don't need to run a local business and be local. You can be anywhere in the world. Clients, clients don't want to meet with you. Not, not when the conversation is this pure and this clean. This is not, this is not an education for the client. Like you've got to educate them about other things, and then they've got to go off and. Maybe ask another business partner or their spouse or whatever for approval. This is kind of a, one of those no-brainer things. It's just like this is, you know, what's going to happen is that is that a, a lot of the conversations are just going to be reconfirming because they won't believe it. That's actually what's going to happen. You're going to find that a lot. They're like, well, what's the catch? Where's the catch? Well, what happens if I not happy after seven days? Well, you just don't pay the bill. Are you going to turn me into a bill collector? No, of course not. Those are going to be the kind of, it's going to be that unbelievable thing. It's going to be, oh, this is too good to be true. So, um, so it does work from anywhere, but you're working with clients in the U.S. and you don't need to, you don't need to meet face to face. We have plenty of clients, uh, most of our students that are working from outside the U.S. and, and how I do it from outside the U.S. as well is, uh, I just buy a, a, a five dollar a month local Skype number, and I just use that you know, for any of the calls on here. And 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 so, and I, I I've sent sales people too, but uh, but myself people do the same thing. They're not in the U.S. They're outside the U.S. Uh, and we just have them set up with Skype phone numbers, so they're they, they look like the U.S. But it doesn't matter. No one cares. Uh, they just want once they realize what it is, they just they're, they're just like, well. Can't think why I wouldn't want to do this. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's get this started. All right. Okay, cool. Um, sounds disappearing. It's probably just my voice. <laughs> cool. Hey, <laughs> um, is anybody in here to just real quick, just give us feedback. Did you guys like the webinar today? Just put a yes in the box. Because I think we're going to wrap it up here because I think we've got most all the questions. And uh, we're rolling over again for tomorrow night. So, if anybody missed anything or they want to watch it again, feel free to show back up. Go to webinar should mail you again, in theory, but you guys know I'm not the best with technology. Um, great. They love you, Chris. It was like everybody was loving it, man. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. All right. Well, 
yeah, that, that's it for today. We're going to do it again tomorrow. And, yeah, we'll uh, do it again tomorrow. And I'll try and get a replay. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not the best with technology. I was recording too, so I'll see what I can do on that. And Jason Moffat has also said he would uh, record as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this right now, if that's okay with you. And uh, thank everyone for showing up and your time and hanging out with us. It was a great time. And uh, hopefully we'll hear from you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. See ya. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.